Hi YouTube, this is going to be a video on how I um, do twists in my hair. Uh, it's a requested video, so I thought I would um, record because I was getting ready to wear twists, so this came in just in time. So I start off with uh, freshly washed hair, and you can see I'm drying my hair. I use a silk um, scarf to dry my hair. My hair really loves silk, so that's what I use to dry my hair. And then I detangle it um, just to make sectioning fairly easy. So you can see that I've got a few sections um, in my hair. I just find that for making twists, uh, the more sections I use, the easier it seems uh, to put to make twists because it does take a long time. I think it, it took me about an hour um, to do all these twists, and I probably ended up with about maybe 30 twists um, in my hair. So you can see uh, I'm working on a section here, uh, the back right section. And um, so what I do is within that section, I section off little um, sections that are going to be twisted up. So that's what I'm demonstrating right now is just um, sectioning and uh, I usually detangle well it's already detangled but I usually comb um, and then just start twisting the hair up and I'll probably get about oh I'll probably leave this in for a couple weeks I will still continue to wash my hair because uh, I do work out quite a bit so um, having twists um, I will still wet my hair down and put conditioner on it and oil it up and stuff like that. I find that when I wear twists I need to definitely moisturize my hair and seal my hair um, quite regularly. Not like when I don't wear twists. It just seems to, it the ends really need moisturizing when I wear twists. And you can see that my hair um, holds a twist fairly fairly well. I don't have to put any kind of ties in the bottom. Uh, my hair is wet here and um, so it's it's making it for me it makes it very easy for me to twist my hair up when it's freshly washed and conditioned and um, you can see I'm combing the hair there sometimes it gets a little matted as I'm twisting so I just go through with the comb just to um, detangle it smooth it out a bit so I can twist it right down to the end and my hair stays my hair stays and as it dries I will get some shrinkage as it's drying but my hair does not unravel at all it it's pretty good that way it stays twisted up um, when I wet my hair in a couple days I'll probably wet my hair my scalp down again because like I said I work out a lot so I will wet my scalp down again. I may have to retwist a couple of them because they will unravel from the water. But um, besides that, it's it will stay twisted up pretty good. And I like this look, you know, for a while. I like wearing twists. Um, it just keeps my hair toned down. Another uh, nice point about wearing twists. Um, is if you didn't want to wear the twists for two weeks you could twist your hair up and in a couple days you know maybe three or four days you can take the twists down and you'll have really nice wavy hair but I like to wear my twists for at least a week or two because I find it, you spend so much time twisting the hair up that I just want to get a little bit of use a little bit of um, wear out of it so there's the back all done well, the lower back part <laughs> is all done. And here I'm showing how I section. So you can see I do take a lot of little sections and then just twist the little sections. I just find it a lot easier like that than sectioning in fours. Some people will section in fours and work on sections that way. I just like doing a whole bunch of little sections. I just find that it, it just seems to be a little bit easier. But you can see it's just a it's just twisting the hair around. Um, I put a leave-in conditioner. I used Giovanni's uh, direct leave-in conditioner. I didn't use much. I just used a little bit. So you can see I've got a lot of slip there. 
And that's basically it, just twisting the hair right up. Um, and there we go, all done. And it's uh, pretty mo movable. So my hair is completely dried. It actually dries a lot faster when I wear twists. Uh, one thing I wanted to mention, um, these twists are large. Uh, sometimes I'll use um, more uh, like tinier sections so the twists will be thinner. So I'll just show you the back. You can see they're fairly thick. They almost look like ropes. But um, yeah, so that's, that's it there. And uh, so you can see the size of the twists are, um, they're a good size, they're a good size. Um, yeah, like I said, sometimes I'll, I'll keep them this thick or sometimes I'll uh, use half, half of this. So I'll get, say, two twists out of the one and the twist is a lot thinner. You got more of them, but they're a lot skinnier. And I find that when I use um, less hair in a twist, it actually hangs longer too. But I just thought I would go with a thicker, uh, a thicker twist this time around. Thin twists are nice, but oh, they're a pain when you want to start when you want to take them out. It's like you're forever taking them out, and I guess you're forever take, putting them in too. Because, like I said, this took me the best part of an hour to do. So, um, I have a video where I show uh, twists from last summer because I do wear a lot of twists in the summer, and that was from last summer. And um, there was a lot more twists in my hair than this this time around and I re it's it's a lot taking them out but yeah so thank you very much once again for watching my video and uh, stay tuned for the next one